Hey everyone, welcome back to more of the Elden Ring Sorcerer playthrough. I'm back in Mount Galmir once again with a bit more uh, runes than the last time. I went ahead and through an extremely painful process, I've managed to... Oh, it's not even one level. Wonderful. Managed to beat the full-grown Falling Star Beast. I'm gonna tell you this much. It's not worth doing that. And you should see the video of that right now. So yeah, that was the Falling Star Beast. Again, 100% not worth it. Uh, it's a very difficult boss for goddamn 21k runes. It's like, what the hell? That's not it. That's not it, chief. Not it at all. So this troll, this one has madness on it. And I had quite a bit of trouble with this thing. For some reason, on playthrough 1... Uh, so hopefully things work out a little bit better. By the way, as you probably see, I am now on my... What you call it? Other staff? I'm never gonna... I finally learned the name of the meteorite staff. What the actual hell? What is this called? Let me just check. Carry and glint blade staff. Well, I'm not gonna remember that at all. <laughs> yeah, so we're on that now. And it's better. It is actually way better than the Meteorite Staff. At this point, I'm sure like before that, the Meteorite Staff slapped, but this thing is plus 17, so just beats it. And we still have like more to go. Anyways, we're gonna wanna, we're gonna hit up the Volcano Manor, do the usual, and then I really need to get on Selen's questline. That's like the main objective here although it's not much of an ob objective because like it's not too much of a quest line for now it'll get more interesting later believe me and that's about it what I'm gonna do is where is it yeah demonstrate the OP nature of carrion slicer as we get invaded by the Logarius Wheel NPC. I say as we... There we go. I was just about to say. So this is the Spanish Inquisition. And he is not doing too well, is he? Well, he killed me, but... I'm not sure that hitbox was necessarily correct. Um, because I feel like I was far away from the weapon, but I guess not. I guess not. But still, I think as sort of a demonstration of what Carrion Slicer is capable of, that was a good one. I just realized I have another memory slot now. Thanks to me beating, uh, the boss from the previous video. One of the bosses. Oh, the Demi-Human, yeah. Which means I can get not only Carrion Slicer, but Carrion Greatsword as well. And Carrion Greatsword is good as well. Like... I don't mind using other spells either. See, like, it just does a lot of damage, everything. 
Told you. Everything just kind of does a lot of damage. So we get the geese's wheel. I think this this is a good weapon. It kind of works like, again, like the Logarius wheel. Not the Logarius wheel. The pizza cutter from Bloodborne. Because the Logarius wheel is something else. Uh, we just call it the pizza cutter, usually. Uh, it can do the same thing. It has the same strengths. What up? Uh, did I join the last time? I think I did. I don't think you need to do this to progress, but and I I never know. No, you do need to, because this is what unlocks. Uh, there's like some secret shit here. Volcano Manor is cool, and you know, the thing with this is, it is actually possible to get an invitation and join properly. I think you can get teleported here early. Uh, so there is that. Anyways, what we need to do is visit Sorceress Selene for the questline. Alright, is this actually going to work? Shall we commence the lesson? Hell, yeah, do you have anything else by the way? No you don't. It's this sorcery, my apprentice. Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure. Yeah, he's kind of dead. We can speak more. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Grimstone sorcery. She's cool, by the way. I think I mentioned this. Hell yeah, I'm down, I'm down for that. Let us journey together. It's good that there are NPCs that actually have personalities in this game, unlike <coughs> Dark Souls 3. Alien Sealbreaker, huh? Where does this go? Oh, it's this is in Kaelid, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I know where this is. If we go back to Celia, this is actually, this is actually interesting. We have a good quest line. Naisu, Naisu, Naisu. Yeah, again, I, the NPCs are a massive improvement in this game over Dark Souls 3's. Massive, massive improvement. And the question is, 
Like in my mind, I remember there being like a sealed door. But there's a bunch of sealed doors here anyways, so... It's kind of a twofold thing, isn't it? And, you know, I know I should be making progress in Volcano Manor <laughs> instead of doing this, but... I don't know, man. Okay, I got my runes back, and... I've been, like, walking all around this town, and I have no idea where this... Uh, sealed door is maybe it's somewhere out in like the wider area but what I'm probably gonna do is come back off screen and look for it let's do volcano manor because we need to actually make progress I know this doesn't gel with the statement I just made previously about not doing mo volcano manor because it's boring but you haven't seen the off-screen shit. I was running around Celia like an absolute idiot, so... Yeah, let's do this. Alright. So inside one of these doors is... A hidden wall, which leads us to... Sort of the back door. I don't remember which one though. Because we can roll against them. It's... I'm assuming what happens is uh, most of these doors are occupied by NPCs. Oh yeah, there she is. Letter from Volcano Manor, Recusant Finger. By the way, yeah, this is the sort of invasion quest line if you haven't discovered that. Yeah, there's like a party here. God, she looks so much like us. She's like the weird clone version of us. I've talked to this guy, he doesn't do much. And this guy. Oh, um, it's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well. I think he was dead by the time I got here. <laughs> First playthrough. I don't think that's how it works exactly. If I can go out on a limb and say, I don't think this covenant quite works that way. Where you look out for each other. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm fucking up all your doors. Where was the thing? Hmm. One of these doors... I, I remember it. God. Talk about, like... There we go. I was almost correct. This can't be the only way into this place, right? Because how the fuck are you supposed to figure this out? I'm assuming, because I play offline, but assuming if I was online, there would be like a metric fuck ton of messages pointing you towards the direction. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm going to get tricked by you. Carry and slicer, this thing is so good, and I still haven't equipped the. That's a bit overkill. Still haven't equipped the great blade or great sword. I don't know if there are any other carrion sorceries. I mean, carrion glint blade sorceries specifically. I'm pretty sure there aren't. Ray Perfumer, Carmon. I totally forgot there's a Perfumer Ash in this game. That does actually have the potential to being pretty good. 
And the perfumers are fairly strong and annoying, so it's a possibility. Anyways, my like ghost spirit ash is Oleg. Oleg is the homeboy, so whoever this perfumer is, he ain't gonna get to come out and play. the damage could you deal any more damage I guess the same applies to me yeah again uh, probably mentioned this already in the commentary for the falling star beast fight uh, which I still don't know what I'm gonna mention because I'm gonna do it in the future but that boss fight just such a good microcosm of the things I don't like about this game a lot of the times yeah it's just one of those things okay I'm gonna need to no no this actually works out perfectly we need great sword and finally rock sling all right Volcano Manor it is. I do like this area. Uh, obviously this is kind of almost Iron Keep. Only difference being this area actually looks good. So there's that. Very important, you know. It's crazy how far they've gone. And the layout of it actually makes sense. <laughs> Oh man. I feel like From have gotten slightly better about making proper transitions. Because, you know, you don't have some shit like. Well, that. Earthen Keep to Iron Keep. Earthen Peak to Iron Keep. Just so much easier to, like, have you walk into a teleporter. Even though teleporters, you know, are kind of a cheap way out still rather have that than something make zero sense. This is a very stupid way of fighting dogs, I know. Have I shown this by the way? Uh, I have almost all of the upgrade materials to get this weapon way upgraded except the somber smithing stone 7 I'm missing that one and I don't actually know how to get one I see you what a virgin yeah bad idea to fight it last time around I was taking the roof path which I think I'm gonna transition to that just feels like a bad idea to <laughs> now can I make that I think I can this feels like a bad idea to fuck with the abductor virgins if you can avoid them plus if you have a way to counter these snipers which I do. None of these are actually snipers, but you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> this enemy man is goof. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Did he have his shield up all the way? I think he had his shield all the way up through that. GG's, you've definitely put points into stamina. Appreciate that. Now that one leads into... okay. This area is not the most complicated. I'll just say that much. See, they do snipe you. With poison. Out of all the possible stats to get sniped by. Mm-hmm, I think. 
Smarter to drop down here. Again, this place is so bloodborne -y. It's crazy. Just the roofs. I know because I'm replaying Bloodborne. I always show myself that. Actually, I'm going live. Well, this will be up days later, but I went live on Wednesday. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, why would you do that? I'm sure there's some great item in there. That we're not gonna see. Fuck, that's a lot of damage. These things have a lot of HP, but man, that is... That is some damage. Oh, did I have my shit up all this time? My little lantern? I think I did. And it's, you know, it's not even that I'm rushing through this area. It's just... This is genuinely... Kinda like this. Technically, this is an optional path. And we have quite a big chunk of it after you kill the godskin who has the potential to be like real problematic i mean as i discovered on the falling star beast my hp levels are still absolutely at rock bottom and godskin kin noble goddesskin i can't even talk godskin noble is a little bit sort of famous for doing massive amounts of damage very quickly so we're just kinda gonna have to wait and see how it all works out. So these things, these are the albanurics, by the way. Anything that has blood that looks like that shit from Alien that the androids have. And it's kind of very appropriate because these things are, I think are like fake. What is he doing to me? I don't know, but it felt... Felt like I was being messed with. Still. We'll take a grace if we see one. So yeah, that is my Vati style lore video on the Albanurix. You are welcome. I've transmitted the knowledge over to you. This place is actually very sick, this area. I do like it a lot. See, that just... Sorry, I had to do a tiny cut there because my dog, my second dog, Chipes, was whining for attention. Uh, so, like, I'm in my room, my office, you know, where I record. I have the door closed. I'm home alone with the dogs and he wants attention <laughs> quite frequently. He's just like that, you know, being a rescue and all that. And sometimes he just comes up to my door and whines to be let in and... You know, you gotta indulge him. Because it's adorable. What the hell? Do I have the solution to you? Actually, I don't. But actually, I kind of do. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> pro. What a pro. I... I don't know how I'm getting this fucked up in this area. Like this area is not supposed to be difficult and I'm getting absolutely demolished. And there's still more of them. 
Who would think getting a rock thrown at you would hurt this much? Probably do. It probably does. Oh, this... That is actually kind of a sick weapon. You can get it. It's a whip. I mean... Yeah, it's goofy. But... Hey, goofy weapons sometimes are very much needed. Uh, yeah, it's this one. One of the interesting things I wanted to mention that I still haven't switched back my setup of having more healing items because we don't need four cerulean flasks anywhere. But the more interesting aspect of this all is that I haven't needed it so far. Like, there hasn't been a time where I was like, I had a feeling that I was low on heals. Which is probably an indication that I'm a little bit OP. Just a little bit. I mean, I am tearing up this area. Uh, but speaking of... For this fight, we are actually going to need to have the four flasks. I think. Like, I, I don't know how much damage uh, Mr. Fatso is going to do. And he's not even actually fat. He has just a fat suit on. Uh, but I feel like it's going to be a lot. And we're going to need to do a lot of damage to him. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this boss at all. And all the cages at the bottom, that's messed up, man. They Anakin these poor people. They Darth Vader them, even worse. Alright. Well, the shortcut is unlocked, and I think if I'm actually correct... Yeah, there is like some skip here, right? I've seen it done before, yeah. Like there is a way to jump up there, if I'm not mistaken. Which skips like, hell yeah. Don't know where that leads, but I think it skips like a good chunk of the area. And people do that shit. Uh, listen, I like a good skip myself. This is actually the most difficult part. Okay. Then here. I might be again completely wrong, but I swear I've seen this being done. Uh, and that might just lead to behind the Godskin Noble. You never know. Anyways, what I'm going to go ahead and do today is as we made it back, I'm going to wrap up this episode. We did very well in this area. I know I didn't exactly go and explore everything, but you know, we don't really need to do we. We started the selling quest line. I'll get back on that. And yeah, Godskin Noble in the next episode, probably. Until then, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Elden Ring Sorcerer playthrough. As always, if you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.